Oh, hi. I'm here to help you start playing fretless bass. Fretless is kind of frustrating when you first start because you've been playing bass with frets, all of a sudden there's some frets, and uh, it can be frustrating and difficult, and the higher up you go up the scale, the more frustrating that becomes. Um, so, you're here to address those things. Um, you know that you're not going to want to spend the rest of your life staring at your fingers. Um, because you're not going to be able to read charts or sheet music or uh, play in the dark, you'll have that I'm afraid to play in the dark sort of thing going. So, the question is how to get your fingers to know what they're doing without your eyes being the big brother and telling them. So, um, there's a few things that will make that happen. One, of course, at the, the very outset is practice, 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 and more practice. You just have to be diligent about training your fingers, um, don't look at your fretboard, tape over your marks, play in the dark, get away from that uh, looking um, because you can't teach yourself if you're doing that. Um, and there are like four things that really help you uh, get started. Um, the first thing that you really need to have is a, a tonal reference point. Um, you can play against your open strings. Um, you can use some sort of background pitch. Um, I have experience in the Indian music, and so I like to use uh, an Indian drone. Uh, works really well for that sort of thing. Um, you can play along with recordings, so that's great too. Anything that has some kind of pitch, you know, so that you can hear where you are. Um, without a tonal reference point, you're going to find yourself drifting. And because it's subtle, you don't notice it, and then all of a sudden you're way out of tune. So that's number one. And number two is you want to use all four of your fingers. Um, if you're just using the three, it limits the number of notes that you get per position. So you want to learn to use your pinky as well as the other three fingers. Um, the other thing is you want to think differently as well. classic way to play a 1-4-5 scale uh, with your arpeggios, your major arpeggio. Um, the thing is, you're having to shift from your position to play D. So what you want to do is arrange for a different pattern for that D. So you want to learn to, you know, if you have an A minor, you're not playing it just like this, but you're playing it in a different pattern. Um, so those things are important. The other thing is that when you do have to change your uh, position, you want to do that methodically. You want to have places. Where you know that those are the places you're going to change your scale position. You want to make it methodical because that will make your learning curve a lot faster. So, you know, you want to work with those um, tonal reference points. Use all four fingers and play differently. So, those things, if you work with those things, they'll, they'll really help you get started to uh, being able to play confidently. But as I say, it is a lot of uh, extra work and it can be kind of frustrating because it is not fast. And then the last thing is a vibrato. I want to work on that. Um, I see guitar players and you know, occasional Freddie bass players, they're trying to get their vibrato going like you would on the uh, guitar. It doesn't really work well. You want to play like a cellist. that rock going. Um, so you want to work with your vibrato as well. So those are the basic things that will really help uh, get you started. So uh, hope you work with this thing. Hope uh, that that's been helpful for you. And uh, good luck with uh, playing fretless bass.